Hey, this is Onesto, and today we're gonna to learn the difference between the four most common types of reverbs. There's four main kinds of reverbs that I wanna show you today. It's room, hall, spring, and plate. And I always wonder, can I just use my favorite reverb and place it on everything and, and, and be good with it? Well, it turns out that these four are actually different from one another. They have their own strengths and weaknesses, so let's talk about it. All right, let's start off with room reverb. It's designed to sound like a sound is being placed in an actual room. And that might sound very obvious, but it's worth noting that room reverbs are trying their best to sound like it's coming from an actual in real life space. With it, you can simulate a sound that's placed in a small room. Or you can also use it to simulate a, a much bigger room. Smaller rooms tend to sound better on up-tempo songs, while bigger rooms, uh, because of their longer reverb tails, those sound better on slower tempo songs. You still want the instrument and the reverb tails to, to clash. And since room reverbs are really flexible and they sound very natural, you'll find yourself reaching for one of these in nearly all your mixes. All right, moving on to hall reverbs. Hall reverbs are similar to rooms that they're trying to simulate a real space, but the difference is that halls trying to sound like concert halls, which are typically big spaces with tall ceilings and highly reflective surfaces. And that's why orchestral instruments or ballad vocals, they really like to be placed in halls. All right, let's move on to spring reverbs. Spring reverbs are really interesting. It's an artificial way of creating reverberation. The way the real thing works is that you have an instrument signal going into one end of an actual metal spring, and at the other end, you have an output transducer picking up the echo. The result is that you have a reverb that sounds metallic, it sounds artificial, but it has a really unique color and tamper to it. Try placing spring reverbs on instruments where you want the reverb tail to have some color or that unique timbre. It's really good at emphasizing solo and leads. So in this example, I want to compare a room reverb with a spring reverb. I just want you to just focus on that reverb tail. I want you to hear the difference in the coloration and timbre. Yeah, springs sound really different. The room reverb sounds a bit more pure, but the spring, it sounds <laughs> like artificial, it sounds metallic and springy even. Here, I'll just play the parts where you have this little gap of silence where you can really pick up on that reverb tail. So you hear that? Yeah, a bit more pure. And here is that spring. They sound really different for one another, and because of that, they serve different purposes. But here's something to watch out for. Spring reverbs, they can sound a bit much if you use them all over the place. So try using it on certain sections of your song rather than the entire track. All right, our last reverb to talk about is plate reverb. The way these work is that you have a giant metallic plate, an audio signal is fed into it, and then the echo from the vibrating plate is picked up from an output transducer. The result you get is a bright and natural sounding reverb. And because of that, they like to be paired with vocals, uh, snare drums, and other percussive elements that need some colorful yet clean sounding reverb. In this example, I have it paired with vocals because plates love to be paired with vocals. I dove into the deep end. Cause I thought I could swim But we break up every weekend uh, 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 oh. Yeah, that sounds so clean and so good. All right, that's all I got. That's the difference between the four most common types of reverbs. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking this video. And if you wanna learn more about any of these plugins that I showed off, go ahead and click the links down below. Thanks for hanging out. Hope we can do this again later.